chlorination of methane. So far we only know a few types of reactions. Substitution replaces one leaving group with another. Elimination gets rid of a leaving group and a beta proton and replaces those with a pi bond. Addition gets rid of the pi bond and adds something across it. For all these types of reactions, our substrate has something that we can change. So far, if we get to an alkane, it is a synthetic dead end. As of right now, we don't know anything to do with an alkane. There's no leaving group to substitute or eliminate. There's no pi bond to add to. But thanks to radical chlorination and radical bromination, this is no longer a dead end. I hope you're as excited as I am about this. Here's the reaction. We take methane and we react it with chlorine gas in the presence of ultraviolet light. And we end up with methyl chloride and HCl. Methyl chloride we can do reactions with. It is an alkyl halide. Let's look at the steps. In our initiation step, ultraviolet light supplies enough energy to the CLCL bond that it cleaves homolytically. This creates two chlorine radicals. In our first propagation step, one of our chlorine radicals abstracts a hydrogen from our methane. This hydrogen abstraction results in a methyl radical and hydrochloric acid. Our third step is also propagation. The methyl radical created in step two does halogen abstraction on another molecule of chlorine gas. The result of this halogen abstraction is the chloromethane and not hydrochloric acid but another chlorine radical. The reaction terminates via coupling Coupling of two chlorine radicals, for instance, to regenerate the chlorine molecule. Or we could have coupling of a chlorine radical with a methyl radical to generate another methyl chloride. There's a third kind of coupling we could have here where two methyl radicals couple. This would generate ethane. This termination step happens once and the reaction is over. But the two propagation steps happen multiple times. Hence, the net reaction is the sum of the propagation steps. The first propagation step was step number two in the mechanism, hydrogen abstraction, where a chlorine radical abstracts a hydrogen from the methane, making methyl radical and HCl. The second propagation step was step three of the mechanism, halogen abstraction, where the methyl radical abstracts one of the chlorine atoms from a chlorine molecule, the other chlorine atom becomes a chlorine radical and you get methyl chloride plus another chlorine radical. The net reaction is the sum of these two steps. 
since chloride is on the reactant side in the first step and the product side in the second propagation step, we can cancel it. Since methyl radical is on the product side of the first step and the reactant side of the second propagation step, we can cancel it. What's left over is our net reaction. Methane, CH4, plus chlorine, Cl2, yields hydrochloric acid, HCl, plus methyl chloride, CH3Cl. We went from a synthetic dead end, an alkane, to an alkyl halide.